Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and we have something incredibly cool, something really quite different, so that's something I'm really excited about because I love to have different type of stuff here as far as reviews go, things that we haven't really taken a look at prior to this, and this is definitely something I've never reviewed here on the channel, and these are actually really beautiful looking amber pieces with insects inside, again, absolutely a throwback to Jurassic Park each and every one of them and they honestly look gorgeous here if you happen to catch my recent dinosaur creations unboxing you will have already gotten kind of a sneak peek of these items that you see before you but these again are amber pieces created by the company dinosaur creations and I've never owned any amber pieces in my collection yet I've always wanted to get my hands on some but I was unfortunately never able to acquire some until now and now I have a plethora of them that you see before you here in hand to not only take a look at with you guys but of course add to my collection and I love the fact that there's so much variety with his amber pieces like you could see different shapes different appearances to each and every one of them which shows you just how creative dinosaur creations is and again just giving you so many different options as far as choosing one individual amber piece or all the different amber pieces no matter what you get you're not going to have like a bunch of the same looking thing because they're all different looking and I love that aspect about these these ones specifically right here before me just look drop dead gorgeous and I cannot wait any longer to take a closer look at them with you guys so let's go ahead and do that right now and we will start out with the smallest of the group and this one doesn't necessarily have any type of a specific shape it's just kind of almost like a cube sort of looking amber style piece but it is beautiful like it really really is gorgeous as far as the amber goes they have created it in such a perfect and very appealing looking way and of course you can see the mosquito inside the amber right there this one's very small you can see the mosquito itself there we go we can see a nice clear shot of it in there and again it just honestly looks like something that I've taken straight from the ground if I were working for the Jurassic Park team and trying to find ourselves some dino DNA I may just find it within that mosquito right there but this little piece again I really love I love how nice and appealing to the eye it is and the fact that we have the mosquito inside is pretty much the icing on the cake and then we have this one which is really really cool as well of course you can see the mosquito inside there this one has a slightly different look to it as far as the amber color this one has a bit more of a yellow type of a coloration which I think looks really really cool but it also has kind of a rocky edge to it which even further makes it look like it was something that was just excavated from the ground and you can see that it runs the entire course of it until we get to the underside and then we have just kind of the amber type of a look here for the underside and very realistically done like it genuinely looks like it was just unearthed from a Jurassic Park dig site and of course our mosquito right there is the key to Jurassic Park and you can see even on the inside the rocky areas look really really cool overall I absolutely love these amber pieces they're really like the coolest addition that you can add to a Jurassic Park collection would be something like this because I can't really think of much of anything else that really screams Jurassic Park than amber pieces with mosquitoes inside and then we have this one which is probably one of the most different looking versions of all of these because it's first of all it's like a rectangular shape but you can see it's not perfectly rectangular like there's some very cool curves to it and everything it's super smooth very cool looking and on top of looking you know very different in shape compared to the others this one also doesn't have mosquitoes inside you can see this one actually has spiders it seems inside so you have a little bit of variety even as far as the insects that are contained within and you can see that over on this side again it looks super cool no matter which way you actually view the amber pieces even from the underside it looks absolutely awesome and again I'm so psyched to have some of these in my collection because it's something I've really wanted to get my hands on for a very long time are some different amber pieces with different insects inside them to add to my collection and I always seem to miss out on them all the time like anytime somebody releases something that's Jurassic Park oriented with these amber pieces and insects inside I always miss them until now and I'm 
very thankful for Dinosaur Creations to be selling these, giving me an opportunity to own some. And then we have this one, which also has almost a clear-like appearance to it. This obviously has a much larger mosquito inside. You can really see him. I almost feel like I need to take a drill and put it in there so I can get down there and grab me some of that dino DNA. But you can see that this one looks really cool. Also has that kind of rocky edge to it, like we had seen on that one just a few pieces ago and you can see that the rocky edge absolutely looks as genuine as it gets it feels as genuine as it gets and i'm sure it actually is as genuine as it gets and then of course once we get to the underside we again have the amber like area which you can see inside there looks incredible from the underside as well but it looks great from every angle you know if we take a look at it from the back you can again see the mosquito inside and the very cool looking amber appearance and i love again that they have different types of amber like you can see some are lighter some are yellow some are just straight up jurassic park looking amber and probably the most jurassic park looking one in here would be this one which obviously is in an egg-like shape and looks pretty much like it just came straight from john hammond's cane right here and i absolutely love that aspect like i almost feel like i need to build a cane now just to put this on the mosquito even looks perfect in comparison to what i would like to see on the end of like a john hammond cane and it's tough to say if this one's my favorite out of all of them because i'm not a hundred percent sure which one i would say is my favorite but this one's definitely leading the charge as far as my favorite goes because, again, having the very John Hammond type of a look to the end of his cane is about as nostalgic as it gets when it comes to an amber piece and just generally having such a really cool egg-like appearance as well is fantastic. So I absolutely love this one. Probably my favorite, but we'll see as we get through these as we do have two more yet to look at. And then we have this one, which is also one of my favorites because it's very... uh realistic i would say it has like such an imperfect look to it overall with having basically like looking like a piece of stone that i had just taken out of the ground and then we can see that there was some amber some fossilized amber over here on the side which obviously has the mosquito contained within and i love the way he's gone about this and created it again in such a very realistic way making it look like it honestly is a piece of fossilized amber that i just excavated from the ground so you could probably buy these and your kids are going to run off with them telling their friends that they work for Jurassic Park and are now digging up mosquitoes buried under the ground contained in amber to help further the progress of the different species on the island. But you can see again the mosquito contained within looks really really cool. The amber piece itself looks awesome. Like I almost feel like I could look back there within the rocky area which is really neat as well and then if we turn it around you can actually see you know some of the amber right here but we still have like that rocky edge the outer feel to it so you can kind of see through it a little bit but it's not super super visible like when you turn it around and you can now see the amber inside again it really takes the realism of these pieces to another level as far as how insanely realistic and cool they look with the way that he creates them and then we have the final and this one is potentially my favorite. I'm really having kind of a hard time deciding if I like this one or the more John Hammond type of an egg-like one. But this one I really like because we have a straight-up beautiful view of the amber here from the front. And again, the mosquito contained within. But then when we turn this one around, we have the rocky area here that runs along the outside again, really giving it that just excavated from the ground type of a feel but we have another little kind of a window of amber over here as well where we can see the mosquito contained within not quite as big as this side this side looks really cool and i like the fact that you have that little window because now you can see straight through it and you have the amber like appearance on both sides so it really makes the mosquito itself pop in there and jump out at you but still looking like you know this side is almost entirely made out of stone it just has such a beautiful combination of elegant beauty and overall realism when it comes to the piece all together. And then, of course, the underside is just kind of a mixture of, you know, the amber and then a little bit, little hints of like the stone up here on the top. We can kind of see the stone like look as well. So these are incredibly awesome. I could not be happier to finally have some amber pieces in my collection and not only some amber pieces, but such a huge variety of incredible amber pieces in my collection. If you are on the lookout for something that screams Jurassic Park or just one of those really cool collectibles that 
you don't see as often as you probably should, these amber pieces are definitely the way to go. So again, in my opinion, one of the most exciting aspects of these amber pieces is the fact that you have such a huge variety of different ways that you can get your amber. And on top of having so many different versions of each, you have different looking types of amber with some looking clear, some are like light yellow, some are really dark amber. And then you also have like the stone like versions. So there's a lot of variety that you can choose from. And on top of that variety, you also have a lot of different sizes. And to show you that, I'm just going to hold the tape measure over top here. I'm not going to measure each and every one because there's just so many here that it would probably take a little bit too long and really isn't that important, I would say, as far as the measurement goes. But you can see that some of them are, you know, pretty small, like this one's really quite small right here. He's only about an inch and a half or three and a half centimeters, actually a little smaller potentially than an inch and a half. But then you have large ones like this one back here, which this one's about six and a half inches or about 16 and a half centimeters so there is quite a bit of difference as far as the size goes on top of the incredible variety that dinosaur creations has to offer and to show you a little further as far as the size goes for a size comparison there is mr papo t-rex the attack pack colovasaurus and robert muldoon from the mattel jurassic world toy line next to our beautiful dinosaur creations amber pieces right here and I think hopefully these figures in comparison to the amber pieces will help to give you a good idea of the size overall, but also gives you a really good example of how cool they would look in a collection because you can see as far as like displaying them with different Jurassic Park style figures, they look excellent in comparison to the figures that you see right here. So Dinosaur Creations, in my opinion, is probably one of the most underrated companies out there currently producing really cool dinosaur and Jurassic Park style collectibles. And I feel like if you are on the hunt for that perfect, really cool Jurassic Park inspired collectible, these amber pieces are a great way to go, whether it's just a gift for somebody that you know loves Jurassic Park or if it's something for your very own collection, these guys are great. I honestly have been attempting to get some amber pieces for years to enter into my collection because I feel like from a display standpoint, they are perfect for any type of a Jurassic Park collection or display. And I have a lot of Jurassic Park and Jurassic World in my collection. So that's probably like the one thing that's always been kind of missing from my collection were some amber pieces and I'm really happy to finally be able to get my hands on some here again thanks to Dinosaur Creations and on top of getting a hold of some amber pieces the best part about all of these is the incredible variety like I've mentioned numerous times there are so many different versions of the amber pieces here that you can choose from and I was really excited about that when I was actually you know conversing with Dinosaur Creations and checking out their website and stuff I was really psyched to see that there was so much variety available from them as far as these amber pieces go. On top of having so many cool dinosaur models, you know, this is probably one of the things that drew me in the most initially to them were their amber pieces. And I actually had promoted these amber pieces, oh boy, a very long time ago in a video, like when my channel was in its early stages. So to now finally have some of these amber pieces here in my collection and to review for you guys is really like the journey coming full circle as far as my channel and dinosaur creations because again that was such a long time ago and I was really excited about them back then but to now have them in person I can honestly say they are so much better than I expected them to be and again I love the fact that we have like the egg shaped one kind of like a John Hammond cane piece and then you have some of the ones that have like the stone on the outside so it kind of looks like it was potentially excavated but cleaned up a bit and then you have the ones that look like they're just straight out of the ground not cleaned up at all all of which honestly make me want to take the DNA from them and create my own Jurassic Park but all of these are absolutely beautiful and I cannot recommend picking some of these up enough again Dinosaur Creations really needs more love so make sure you check out Dinosaur Creations through the link in the description make sure you head on over there pick up some of these beautiful amber pieces I absolutely recommend checking them out and buying some of these because they are beautiful and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.